You know that saying to get a different outcome, you have to do something different or you're going to get the same result over and over. So many people ask me, how did I get out of the healthcare industry and how did I get started becoming an entrepreneur and running and building a successful company? Outside of working hard, like crazy hard, the truth is I did not know what I was doing. I really didn't. I was in healthcare working three jobs, teaching gymnastics and planning and designing weddings and events on the side because I love to. It was my passion. Never, ever, ever did I imagine one day I would get the opportunity to do my passion full time. And one day I was given the opportunity to go on the road with a country artist and plan a wedding. I didn't know it was for a TV show. I didn't know it was for Kelly Pickler or Kyle Jacobs. I didn't even know who that was because I did not watch TV. I didn't have time. But to go on the road with them meant that I had to make a choice. I had to resign from my job. And Monday morning when I went into my boss's office and resigned, it was the best feeling. But I knew I could always go back. I didn't talk to my parents. I didn't talk to anybody because I knew that they would try to talk me out of it, to leave what is comfortable. After filming the entire planning process, they decided they wanted to elope a month before the wedding. They asked me to find a private island for them, which I didn't even know existed. But after going through that experience, it opened my eyes to so much more. I knew I could thrive in the wedding and events industry. I just had to put my head down and really focus. And I had to make some changes and I had to do something different. I didn't have a steady income or a steady pay check coming in every week or every two weeks. And at first it was kind of like riding a bike with training wheels, falling down, getting back up and continue to move forward. And every time I would fall down, I would get back up and know that I was that much closer to figuring out the processes that I needed to run a successful business and do my passion full time. I was very intentional with who I surrounded myself with and how I spent my time. And I only wanted to be around people that would help me and support me in growing my business. It was not until I met my very first mentor, which by the way, I didn't even know what that was or what they did, that I knew that I could do it. Working three jobs and doing something for a hobby on the side, now doing it full time as my passion, was one of the most rewarding things I've done as an entrepreneur. Having the courage to take that leap, and let me tell you, it's scary, I didn't even think about it. To invest in myself and in my future, I didn't even think I could do that. I didn't know what I didn't know. If you have the drive and dedication, I promise you, you'll get there. Let's connect and start this journey together. Let's continue this discussion over in my exclusive I Am a GSD Leader Facebook group. If you're ready to GSD and to be a leader, know that I will be right there cheering you on every step of the way. Click the link below and I'll see you soon. Bye.